This is so deep, only a child can see it. And a theologian miss it. Jesus loves me. This I'm beginning to know. If it gets any more complicated than that, we miss it. It's about relationship. It's about revelation, not reason. We're not studying academics trying to analyze God and figure Him out. I realize that I am totally incapable of meeting my own need and I'm trying and I'm trying and I'm dying and I'm dying until I start seeing He comes to love me and turn it all around. And, and this is what happens when you look at Him with unveiled face, behold, as in a glass of the glory of the Lord. We're changed into that same image from glory unto glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And 1 John 3, it says, Oh, what manner of love He's shown unto us that we could be called children of God. It says, We know when we see Him, it does not yet appear what we'll be, but we know when we see Him, we're going to be like Him, selfless. So there's your doctrine conforming to Godliness. Okay, and by the way, the fruit of it is in Galatians 5. Uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love. That's amazing. I think it's verse 22, Galatians 5. It says the fruit of the Spirit is love. And the fruit is singular. It says, and then it lists a bunch of stuff. Gentleness, joy, patience, meekness, temperance, faith, love. Well, the fruit of the Spirit singular is love. And here's what love looks like. Gentleness, joy, patience, meekness, temperance, and faith. And when you let Him love you, you let Him love the hell out of you, then He puts a new heart in you, causes you to keep His ordinance, and you're going through the day, and you're living out Psalm 1. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delights in the law of God. And we know in Romans 13, 10, the law is fulfilled, and lay your life down, no hook in it, forgiven love, selflessness. This is the one whose delight is in the law of God, which is lay your life down, no hook in it, forgive and love. He meditates day and night, and that's where you're eating from a tree of life. Musing and meditating upon how much He loves you, and you're letting Him. And all this is going on in your heart. Somebody else offends you, somebody else rejects you. You don't see them with the eyes of contempt anymore because you're not threatened by them, because you don't need their approval, and now you're free to love them. You don't want their money. You don't want their approval or anything else. You are just in love with this other human being. And when you're in their presence, you're not sitting there self-conscious or aware of yourself and what they can do for you. And out of your belly's flowing rivers of living water is what Jesus is for. And you love people. You love them, everyone, without expectation or condition because by the water and the blood I have been born.